Hey y'all, it is February the 25th, um, 2018, and y'all, I really just want to eat some dinner. I'm fixing to do it, uh, but you know, it just keeps pulling me back in. This actually is breaking news. Uh, as it turns out, the New York Post was kind of thinking to themselves, kind of like I've been thinking for a while. Hey, where's his brother at? Where's Nicholas's brother at? Well... Finally, we're starting to get some answers. And we're going to uh, read, of course, the headline says, Florida shooting suspect's brother uh, appears to break silence. Appears to. All right, we're going to find out what that means. You'll see, uh, this is a young photo by them. Uh, that one on the left, that's Nicholas. And then you got his brother right here on the right. That's his younger half-brother. And I forget the name, but of course they're going to tell us his name, all right. Oh, yeah, Zachary. Okay, well, anyways, <clears throat> uh, it reads like this the younger half brother. Uh, just so you know, we're about to enter the Twilight Zone, and that's why I'm sharing it with y'all. Uh, it's about to get real weird. The younger half brother of accused Florida shooter Nicholas Cruz appears to have broken his silence more than a week after the massacre a person identifying himself as Zachary Cruz opened up his Facebook page to the public posting a new uh, profile photo of two smiling little boys hugging each other and the message appreciate all the positive messages with heart emojis late Saturday night if Zachary's page, if it is Zachary's page, it would be the first time he has been heard from since February the 14th. The February the 14th shooting, remember? Alright. So let's see if we can get focused. He was involuntarily committed for mental observation on February 16th. Obviously they're referring to Zachary. Um, Zachary... For some reason was involuntarily committed for mental observation two, week, two uh, days after the shooting for some reason all right well, let's find out why the message was the only posting visible on the page Sunday afternoon it, it, it garnered several responses from well-wishers and this is very important things like praying for you and Nick wrote Arale Velasquez, praying for you, your brother, and your community would be another example. Love and support from South Carolina, commented Amber Morris. No one responded to any of the roughly 20 comments uh, that the post received as of Sunday afternoon. Most of the friends on the account are South Florida high schoolers, including many that are from uh, Marjorie Stoneman, Douglas High School, where Nicholas allegedly, that's the key word, allegedly killed 17 former classmates. Do you, you see where we're going with it? All right, you see how many people really, really don't believe that Nick even did this. And even if he did do this, they would feel really bad because they actually care for Nick around there. All right, so it gets real weird. I mean, the the article actually goes on. Let me see if I'm gonna read any more of it. Uh, we might as well read some more of it because actually it does get real weird and twisted. And we've mentioned the fact is that, of course, um, Nicholas doesn't really have a motive to do anything crazy like he did. He really doesn't have a motive. In fact, he has a motive to not do anything because he stands to gain all sort of money by not doing anything. Alright, so we're going to read on a little bit more because this pertains to that. Most of the friends on the account uh, are, uh, the way I already read that, that was most of the people who left comments. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They're South Florida high schoolers leaving the nice comments. And it also says that no local teenagers appear to have responded to the, the post. You know what I mean? Like, you know, nobody is trying to disrespect. Nobody is trying to call people out as liars nobody's trying to call them monsters simply because people really are very concerned with um with nicholas cruz right now very very concerned so anyways to read on in the article it says zachary 16 and nicholas 19 were adopted as infants by 
Linda and Roger Cruz. Roger died of a heart condition in 2004 and Linda succumbed to flu-related pneumonia as we had mentioned on November 1st, 2017 leaving the brothers in the care of her friend Roxanne Deschamps. Now this is where it gets real interesting. A heart-wrenching photo obtained by the Post showed the boys holding their mother's urn at her funeral late last year. A source close to Linda and Deschamps said it was the caretaker who had Zachary committed. All right, Deschamps is seeking permission from a court to settle Linda's estate now, her recently dead friend. Uh, the hearsay is um, Deschamps is seeking permission, like we said, from a court to settle Linda's estate, which could be worth, like we said, up to a million dollars. She could not keep the money herself, but she could, however, charge a fee for doling it out to Linda's heirs, legal experts say. So, just so that you know, I don't know anything about Nicholas or Zachary Cruz, which are these two right here. But I can tell you, it's, it's really very unlikely that this guy is a white supremacist like it was alleged by a lot of legitimate publications. Uh, it's very unlikely that he's a white supremacist. They're standing there with his brother. And his brother somehow just got involuntarily committed. I'm not too sure why. But might have a lot to do with a, a million dollars. Might have a whole lot to do with a million dollars. And, and this story just gets more and more twisted, don't it? It's February the 25th. 2018, mahalo to holler at y'all later.